structured data examples for Google. I'll be focusing on local business and I will show you many different ways for you to include structured data for your website. You can log into Search Console and start highlighting. I do have a video tutorial on Rank Your YouTube channel that shows you how to do that step by step. Okay? So you can include structured data and start highlighting parts of your web page. There is another tool made available by Google called Structured Data Markup Helper. Similar to Data Highlighter, all you would need to do, let's say for local business, select that, place the URL for your website and start tagging. Let's do that. I'll quickly touch base as to how you can utilize Structured Data Markup Helper to add structured data for your local business on your website. So here, basically, what you need to do is wherever your business details are on your web page and website, simply highlight it. And then if there is the name, you would select name. And this tool will go ahead and start inserting certain details as you're providing them. It's basically all you do is simply highlight it. Let's say, um, as an example, let's say image. On this one, I actually don't have image, but let me right click and select that as my business image. So you would have a logo perhaps and so on. Then that's what you do. Simply right click, say, you know what? That's the image for my local business. Usually that is your logo. Telephone, all you do is highlight your telephone number and say that's my telephone number and then you would do the same thing for the addresses opening hours details if that is showcased on your website some of them are required for local businesses so keep that in mind and some of them are not so let's imagine you don't have any ratings yet showcased on your website if that's the case you can ignore those fields okay or you can also add missing tags by selecting different things here okay so and then once you finalize it then press on create html so let's move that aside and let's continue with different examples let's imagine you want to use json ld markup for your local business now this is a sample code it's coming from my blog here so all you would need to do is highlight the sample script code copy it and let's go and see wordpress if you're using magento drupal or any other content management system you need to locate head portion of html in wordpress you can locate that by pressing on appearance and then pressing on editor depending on the theme that you're using you need to locate a file called header.php because you can insert it there or if you want to insert it in the footer section then you would select footer.php okay so let's select the header.php because that's rather very simple then we locate the beginning of head element and the end of that would be with the forward slash Okay, so if we then make some room, make some spaces perhaps, and then paste that JSON LD markup for your local business. Obviously, you would need to change the details to match your own, or else it won't work. Here, I do have additional type just to demonstrate to you what else you can do. Let's imagine that you're a local business, but let's say you're a locksmith then you can insert that line. But if you're not, and you can't find additional type for your local business, then simply delete that entire line, okay? And then you would simply update header.php file. While here, let me also show you how you can locate that particular file through your web hosting account. 
simply log into your web hosting account press on file manager and go to your public underscore HTML folder and within that folder you will have WP hyphen content browse into that go into themes if you're using WordPress if you're using static files then you still need to locate your HTML code so in this example I'm using my own theme and header.php file is located here you know, word of caution before you insert any code to your website you should 110 percent make a backup by downloading and you can actually right click press on edit and make the insertion for that json ld local business markup here as well because what we have added it through the dashboard is basically the same file okay so keep that in mind now in this example that's just a basic local business marker but let's imagine that your google business listing for example you've got reviews for your local business because that happens usually for small business community especially if that's the case all you would need to do is simply copy this portion here make changes because this is for aggregate rating so instead of adding the first sample codes you would select this copy that and still find the end of html um, head portion sorry and then paste that now what we have included is all these details now let's go ahead and make some tests so before you insert the code once you make all the changes to these codes you can go to structure data testing tool select code snippets and then paste your updated code and then run test at this moment because you're testing it manually you will have a warning here it says URL you can ignore that because that's not an error per se the reason structure data testing tool is complaining about this URL is because it's not live on internet yet make sense so once you see this error don't be overwhelmed because that's actually not an error you can always preview your local business details in 2017 we now have the preview tool as well and then you'll have your image details here you'll have your own details make sense now well that's how you can insert um, json ld marker while here let me also um, suggest to you that this is the easiest way yes but you can also utilize different methods by using microdata my blog explains more so you can take a look at what we can do here basically we're doing the same thing we're providing the same information but we're using different type of markup make sense as i've said the easiest way is to use json ld but you can surely utilize this as well and in this example we've got aggregate rating basically we can extend our local business details to have more according to our local business details or type of local businesses that we have now before we close up let me show you more examples here these are rather a little bit more advanced so if you would like to learn how I inserted these and how you can take advantage of structured data for Google, simply comment for this video and then I'll create future videos accordingly. And once again, I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it and I'll talk with you in the next video session.